Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, syntax directed translation for converting infix expression to postfix expression. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about what's SDT and SDT and the basics to understand SDT. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, it's very, very simple SDT. So before going into the SDT, let's understand what's the need of conversion from infix expression to postfix expression. See, let's take this expression, infix expression 5 plus 6 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 8. If we want to evaluate this expression, how we do that? 5 plus 6. If you want to do this, first you have to check for precedence. 6 multiplied by 7. So you go with the 6 multiplied by 7 first. If you want to do this, you have to go check for the next one. If it is having higher precedence operator here, we have to go with 7. So you have to go front, check the precedence. Then you have to come back. See, both are having the same precedence. That's why you have to come back. And first you have to do 6 multiplied by 7. The output will be multiplied by 8. Then you have to come back and add it with 5. This is how you have to evaluate the expression. So if, you, if it is in infix expression form, we have to go front back, again come back, again go, go front. You have to do multiple checkings. So that's why infix expression evaluation is not good for evaluating the expression. If you convert this infix expression to postfix expression, this expression will be like this 5, 6, 7, multiplication, 8, uh, multiplication plus how it is going to evaluate 5 6 7 whenever you see the operator multiply with the previous two input values 6 multiplied by 7 42 is placed here so 6 multiplied by 7 42 is placed here okay so next 42 8 star Whenever you see operator 42 multiplied by 8 and output is placed here. After that it's seen plus. So 5 plus whatever the output you got here that will be added. There is no going front and coming back. All these things will not be there. That's why postfix expression is easy to evaluate. So during the, during the syntax checking, we can easily convert our infix expression to postfix expression. Some compilers go with the conversion, of in, conversion into postfix expression. So how they do it during the evaluation of syntax analysis? Uh, let's take this grammar e tends to e plus t, e tends to t, t tends to t star f, t tends to f, f tends to id. So during this uh, grammar, the semantic conditions which we are going to use here is a print plus. After completion of this, we are going to print plus. After completion of this production, we are going to print a multiplication. After completion of this, uh, we are going to print id dot lex value. Whatever the lex value it is going to find, that has to be displayed. So how it is going to evaluate 5 plus 6 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 8. E tends to E plus T. E is going to evaluate to T. T tends to F. F is going to ID. Whenever it sees ID, it is going to display Lex value. Means 5 will be displayed now. It is if uh, it, this is going in top down approach. If it is going in top down approach, it goes like this. And it is going to evaluate T tends to T star F. T tends to T star F. T tends to F. This is going to do first. Then id next it is going to encounter 6. So 5, 6. After that it is going to check for like this id. id tends to 7. So 7 will be displayed. Then t star f completed. After t star f completed what we are going to display? Star will be displayed. After that it is going to check like this. f tends to id. 8 will be displayed. After that it is going to check for here after the completion of t star f it is going to display star after the completion of e plus t it is going to display plus so during the syntax analysis phase we are we can easily convert our infix expression to postfix expression by adding this extra commands semantic conditions not commands semantic conditions so this is how we will convert our infix expression to postfix expression. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.